Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today I'm at Ayafekla Beach and I'm going to walk along the beach guys see what's going on down here at Ayafekla first of all I've parked up in the car park there's the car park next to this restaurant and I'm going to take my shoes and socks off because I'm going to go on the sand there's the car park, it's all free guys there and there's a rough road to get into the place where that white car's come in so let's take our shoes and socks off and go down to the beach so guys today is the 10th of april the season's just started the sun beds are out there we are in the umbrellas two euros 50 per item and it looks like you've got the beach to yourself today it's a little bit overcast there are localized showers inland in that direction so i'm going to go to the water's edge and show you this beautiful beach it's a little gem guys i eh, figla there's no hotels here at the moment there's a lovely old church up there and there's a cave a little church cave down there guys you can visit that there's a chap down there now visiting the little church cave and that was the original church in, within the cave it's tiny and then they built the church on the top there where the cliff is right the reason i've got my shoes and socks off is that i want to have a little paddle there we are so the sea's not too bad this is a bit chilly it's probably about 18 degrees today and there is quite a breeze so it's not an ideal beach day guys okay, we've got a few uh, people on the beach look gonna go for a little swim now when the tides in you have to swim out to the little island but when the tide's out guys you can actually paddle to the island it's a great little island and it's easy to get on the island because there's a little bit of a sandy beach on there so it's a lovely slope onto the island and this is quite nice here as well because there's a gentle slope into the sea it's quite sandy here but if you go along a little it's a bit rocky so it's rocky along here you see oh it's quite squadgy the sand now let's go up a little bit that's quite squadgy oh difficult to walk on oh that's a bit firmer especially when you're barefooted now there's the restaurant right on the beach front nice restaurant we'll visit that in a while but first of all i want to take you up a little bit show you the rest of the beach wow the sun's just come out look at that beautiful i've got me shorts and t-shirt on it's probably about 25 degrees in the sunshine I wouldn't even describe it as chilly in the shade just perfect I think guys now today I would say it's a day to go out exploring you could take your backpack with you put some change of clothes some swimming gear and when the sun comes out like this and it's glorious you could have an hour here couldn't you guys just relax get in the sea cool down a bit and then that cloud comes over you can go on to somewhere else maybe up to Larnaca or if you haven't got uh, a car 
you can always get the bus to Paralimni or go on to Ayanapa Brodara Look at this It's a little platform they put out here Let's go and have a look Here it is Let's go to the end of the platform and see what it's all about Maybe it's another means of getting into the sea because now it starts to be rocky Can you see these rocks? Looks like volcanic rock and they're quite sharp but don't worry guys if you're relaxing on the beach because it's all sandy as I said where those people are so if you swim down here you can do a bit of snorkeling and then you can swim back to the sandy bit and get out that way or if you're feeling brave it looks like you can step off here look Oh, looks like they put a new bit of concrete there can you see so you can step out into the water and just plop into the water there and swim out so that's ideal isn't it guys a little swim out platform let's carry on down the beach Now guys, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. It is free. You won't get harassed for any money. Just put your little finger on that uh, subscribe button and it's all done. Quite harmless. So what we've got here, let's carry on down. Now I do believe that this is a new part of the beach This was uh, reef done quite a few years ago Been made into a little extension And they brought down some rocks Not sure where they got them from, perhaps they got them out of the sea I don't think they did guys, I think these rocks came from the quarry up at Xilofal it's not too far away you see the rocks and they've made a pathway there it is from that beach to the new beach up the road and I'll walk down there show you what that's like So you're going to need some sort of shoes here guys because look it's a little bit rocky and there's a track down there you see and that's the Sun City development it's gone a little bit stagnant lately nothing's happened to that for a few years so we're not sure what's going on there the apartments are all finished I do believe there's people in those apartments and these luxury villas at the front they're all finished but the hotel has uh, stopped looks like basic frames there right let's carry on down and see what else there is so now I'm making my way up to the second beach here at Ayafekla and that's a man-made beach I put my shoes back on there we are and I'm on this track here you see and I'll show you the second beach quite a new beach probably five or six years old and they brought down these massive rocks and they've made this uh, beautiful wall along, whoops mind that rock sticking up there's another one sticking up better watch out guys <laughs> anyway 
where were we are oh, before we tripped over oh yes this rocky wall lining the path and then there's more of these rocks around this man-made beach so we'll have a look at that there are umbrellas and some beds going out on this beach there is a lifeguard as well and this one's a little bit more awkward to get in the sea I'll show you that in a minute so we can see it's all rocky up to the main Aefegla beach where it's lovely and sandy now here is what I call the man-made beach I did see lorry loads of sand coming in here quite a few years ago and they laid this sand here and put these rocks around and it uh, seems to have lasted it's uh, weathered well Look, it's got a great volleyball court soon to be put out and also it's got a beach bar there's the beach bar there it's getting prepared to open looks like they're putting the umbrella posts out next to the beach bar and I've just seen the local council down there we'll probably bump into them again putting out some more umbrella stands so here we are look can you see looks like these ones are wooden posts look, they may be attached to the restaurant now this beach has got some changing facilities and toilets and of course free wi-fi like all the beaches and this is how you get in the sea guys just next to the changing rooms and toilets there's a little slopey bit can you see between that rock and that rock you can see there's a gap and it's a sandy path that will lead you out and then turn right and that will lead you out to the deep you see so a little bit awkward to get out rather than down there in the main beach but if you want a nice quiet beach this is the place to come there's the lifeguard post over there you see so what I'm going to do I'm going to go out to the road and I'm going to walk back along the road you see we've seen the beach at Aefegla if I walk along the road we can see what's going on around the area you see and we can have a look at that uh, abandoned brand new hotel it's the Sun City now that won't affect your day on the beach of course no works going on so it's lovely and quiet so there's the dirt road you see and that goes along the seafront we're going the other way back towards the main Aefegla beach now there's two ways of getting in there's a dirt road just here on my left and that goes through the houses there just down there can you see basically you've got to come round the abandoned half made hotel like that and then in but there's an easier route guys the way I came in to that other car park and I'll show you that as we walk along a little bit windy today but it's beautiful ideal day to discover
So there's St. Fekla restaurant. That's open. And now we're going on to the brand new roundabout. I say brand new, it's probably about uh, four years old now, maybe older. They finished this part when they finished all these luxury homes right on the seafront. You can see the rocks and uh, more car parking areas. Now you can't go down this road. So if you happen to come down here guys, just turn around, go back up that way. So there's the luxury villas, all complete. And then there's a quite a big gap actually between the villas and the seafront. There's the local council, can you see them on the truck putting out some more umbrellas? So let's go on to the path, shall we? So there's the abandoned project, Sun City. And then we've got uh, this gap, as I said, here. And then the beach. There's a car park on this side guys, so if the one that I've parked on the restaurant side is busy, you can always come on this side. Straight ahead you can see the twisted tower of Ayan Napa Marina. That's another great place to visit. Right, so there's the second car park. The restaurant's getting ready to open. Looks like uh, the gardeners have been in. We'll go past the restaurant, shall we? Have a look around, see what's going on. Here we are. Now we've got a massive lawn area, a kids play area, there we are, there's a massive lawn, the restaurant, they're all getting ready now to open, so that should be open tomorrow, chairs have been put out, the cleaners are in, right. looks like they're stocking everything up. So that should be ready soon and the beach bar should be ready let's go down to the beach bar shall we and then we can get one more glimpse of Aya Fekla beach go down here there's the beach bar very conveniently located here just uh, the beach walls there's a few more people arriving at the beach taking advantage of the sunshine now I'm going to go up these steps but there is a slope oh I do like a slope up the slope or steps there it is up here and you've got changing rooms here you see and toilets free wi-fi there's the lifeguard post as well it's a quite a nice lifeguard post go around this way there we are. Looks like they've bought a picnic with them. There we are. Lifeguard tower. And we'll go down. Onto the sand. And then back to the car park. So that was a lovely stroll, wasn't it, guys? 
does look a bit dark down there and uh, looks like inland's brightened up a bit that's what you get out here you get localized weather beautiful here and then could be raining three or four miles in that direction we don't know so here we are three showers as well hello so that was a lovely stroll wasn't it guys down Aefegla beach beautiful day here at the moment don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below